Hey everybody, it's Mr. Danzel. Um, we are going to work on the Melonhead project. So we're going to be using a bunch of different selection tools. Uh, to start off with, we're going to use the elliptical tool. I'm going to zoom in and use the space bar and the hand tool. Now we were supposed to have, uh, I've already got this on here, but we're supposed to start out with the blueberry. Use the elliptical tool, control alt, and it makes a copy there. It makes it on the same layer though. Okay, I'm going to deselect that. We're going to use the elliptical tool again and copy this carrot. This time we're going to do control J. Notice it created a new layer. I'm going to zoom out, grab the move tool, and drag that over here. I'm going to do control J again to make another copy of that. And now we've got a right eye and a left eye. Okay, we're also going to use the um, elliptical marquee tool to get this kiwi here. That's going to be the mouth. Okay, again, control J. Whoops, if you ever get this error message, it means you're not on the background layer. So, control J and the move tool, drag it over. There we go. All right. Next, oh, I need to name that mouth. Next, we're going to use the magic wand tool to um, get a nose for this guy. Okay, if we click, oh, it changes tolerance to 70. Then we click here. Notice it didn't get everything. So if we hold down on shift and click on it, now it's got all of it. Zoom back out, control J creates a new layer. We're going to go ahead and call that Nose. I'll grab the Move tool, drag it over, and now we're getting somewhere. Okay, uh, next let's do this bow tie. Very well, it's a piece of pasta, but it's going to become a bow tie. And I'm going to go through this really quick, but we're going to use the polygonal lasso tool. Basically every time you click, you can change directions, okay? So I'm not going to do this great. You should try to do it much better, but I'm just trying to hustle through this. Again, make yours look nicer, please. But you come back up here to the start. It connects it, selects it. Control J. Whoops, not on the background layer. Control J. Use the move tool. There's our bow tie. Okay. We're going to do the same thing with this mushroom. Use the polygonal lasso tool. Oops. Just like this. Remember, it looks every time you click, it changes direction. So every time you click, come back to the start, connect it back. Okay, let's go to zoom out. Make sure we're in the background layer. Control J again. Got a hat. Okay. All right. Next, we're going to do the ears. For this, we are going to use the magnetic lasso tool. Okay. We're just going to do the inside. So the magnetic lasso tool actually kind of automatically attaches itself. You can click if you want. You can also back up by pressing backspace, but we don't want to do that. So. This is not perfect, but you connect it back. Okay, that's been uh, selected now. We're going to do Control J. Oops, I'm on the background layer. Realized I forgot to name some things there. I'll do that in a second. Control J, Move Tool. We've got an ear. Now we need to rotate this. So we're going to go to Edit, Transform, and I'm going to rotate counterclockwise 90 degrees you can do a free transform if you'd like and make it the way you want it uh, so that's going to be the left ear uh, this layer was the hat so this must have been the bow tie okay so the left ear we're actually going to do another control j okay now we've got a second ear and for this one we're just going to go to edit transform and 
flip horizontal like that. So now he's got some ears. Last thing, we're going to use the um, which, where is it? Rectangular marquee tool. Okay, so we're going to go here. We're going to select these radishes again. You need to make sure we're on the background layer. And then we're going to use the magic wand tool. If you click in, if you hold down an Alt and click in the white area, it gets rid of the white area and only selects the radish. So Control J, bring it on over. Okay, this is our left eye brow. And I'm actually going to make it smaller. So I press Control T, and then I hold down on Shift and grab the corner to make it a little smaller so it fits better. Okay, press Enter, then Control J again. Got another eyebrow. Again, we're going to go to Transform, Flip Horizontal, Name the Layer. That is the right eyebrow. And there we go. Last step, we're going to crop. Okay, use the crop tool. You grab these handles, you drag them in a little bit. Oops, a little too far. Drag it in. Oops. Press enter, and you're done.